Hello viewers, welcome to today's episode of Women's View. My name is Anne Morimi and I'm your host. It's always such a pleasure that you join us and you get to uh, interact with us. We really uh, welcome your interaction during the show and we just want to thank all the viewers who have been uh, liking our YouTube uh, channel and following us when we are live on Facebook. So our handle on Facebook is GBS Kenya and the SMS line is 21144. So welcome to today's show. As you can see, we are all set. Fridays, we like to take it easy and get to do fun stuff. And today we're going to be baking. And uh, I'd like the lady who is on studio with me to introduce herself. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Hello, viewers. Um, my name is Aida Wamboy. I'm a student currently at Kenyatta University, taking real estate management that year. Um, I also have a side hustle. As you can see, I'm here with some of my ingredients. Um, I do home baking. I, break, I bake fresh cakes, of which I started a, a small clientele and trying to build it as a business. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, we're going to get to know Ida more in the show. And today we're going to be learning how to make uh, chocolate and vanilla cupcakes. So enjoy the show. And uh, I hope you get to try this at home. Yeah, All definitely. Right. Cool, so what I'd like us to start with is just the ingredients. So you can tell us what you have and uh, we'll get to show our, our viewers. What okay. is this? Oh, here we have margarine. Um, uh, it's measured, this is, this is 175 grams of margarine. Ah, okay, that's margarine. You can use margarine or blue band or butter for those who don't want to use margarine. Okay. So you can try either. Mm -hmm. Then this is sugar. Yeah. The same amount as margarine. This is also 175 grams. Okay. So the same amount you put for margarine is the same amount you put for sugar. That's our first tip. Yes. Okay. So margarine and sugar equal measure. Yes. Okay. Depending on your recipe. Depending on the recipe. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we also have eggs. Yes. For me, I have four eggs for my cupcakes. Yes. And uh, of the eggs, as you can see, the yolk is separated from the rest. Yes, I can see that it's intact. Yes. That is important. That is very important during ah, baking. Okay. Because You don't beat them up? No, I don't beat them oh, up. Oh, interesting. You'll see during the process, Yes. I'll just add one after the other. Oh, That's why they have to be this to way. To be like this, okay, cool. Yes. In fact, I was about to ask you, why haven't we beat the eggs? Thank God I didn't go ahead and start beating. <laughs> yeah, that's my <laughs> second tip. Okay. Then we have this. What is this? This looks is like vanilla mm -hmm. essence. Yes, looks like vanilla essence. At least I know one thing. Yeah, <laughs> so this will be poured into the eggs. Yes. As we are adding the eggs later on in the process. Okay. Then we have... Let me remove the sieve for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have... Uh, this is flour. Yes, wheat flour. Yes. It's all-purpose baking flour. All-purpose baking flour. Yes. Okay. Does it have... Uh, it's, is it the one that has the baking powder? No, okay. that is self-raised. Oh, that's self-raising flour. No, this is just all-purpose baking without self-raising. Okay. So this you have to use all-purpose because self-raising has some baking powder. And you don't need that? No. Here, as uh -huh. you can see, there is, a, there is the flour. Yes. Then the baking powder is more white than oh, the flour. Oh, yeah. It's actually here. You've already put it, eh? Yes, and it's ah. measured. And it's very interesting because actually the flour and the baking powder, the baking powder is whiter. Yes. Yes. That's how you know, like... The measurement of the flour, you have to measure okay. the flour and the baking powder for you not to mess up. So how much flour do we have here? This is uh, 250 grams. Okay. And uh, the baking powder is one teaspoon. One teaspoon. Measurements are very important, right? Very, yeah. Okay, all right. So here we have cocoa. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll advise the orange one, dairy land orange. Okay, I know I know that one. Yeah, yeah the orange tin. Don't take the, the purple tin. Because ah, okay. it won't be as dark as you want it to be. Okay. So this is uh, 10 grams. 10 grams, okay. Yes. All right, cool. So there we go. These are very, all these ingredients are locally available, so there's no excuse for not baking. Yes. There's nothing complicated here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And all of them you have to buy. You don't have to make or anything. Exactly. They're easily available in your local supermarket. Yes. All right, so let's get going. So we'll start with... Mm, 
Okay. Adding the sugar. The sugar. To the margarine. The sugar to the margarine. Yes. Ah, okay. So you just pour it all in. All of it in. Exactly. It doesn't uh -huh. matter. You don't have to do it side by side or okay. anything. We'll just pour it all in. Okay. And now we'll whisk it. Yes. Together. Uh -huh. So. What gadget are you using? What is this called? Sorry, this is a whisk. Mm -hmm. um, this is ram tones. Yes. Uh, you can take this whisk or this other one. It's electric. It okay. actually helps you in saving time. Exactly. Most and you don't people... get so tired. Yes. Because I remember when I was growing up and my mom used to teach me how to bake. We'd beat, I remember this step, because you've got to beat it until it's white, right? Yes. Yes, okay, let's go. And the manual ahead. one is so hard. It is. You, you get know. blisters, <laughs> you get muscle pulls, it's so tiresome. Until it becomes white, yeah, from yellow to white, okay? So All we'll right. mix this together mm -hmm. until the same way you've said it, till it's cream white. Cream white, okay. So. All right, let's go. And um, it can turn in any direction, or you've got to sort of choose clockwise or anti-clockwise? You can turn it in any direction. In any direction. The whole idea is mm -hmm. you reach the whole, the whole margarine and the whole sugar has to mix together. They need to really, really come together yes. and form one. Okay. okay. Yes. Form one, uh, it's called uh, buttercream. Buttercream. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. You form one, all uh -huh. of it. Yes. So as you can see, I'm picking from the side. Yes. Going to the center. Yes. Just all over. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, okay. So you, as you can see, we are, we are mixing and it's changing the color. Yes. I can see the color is actually changing. Yeah. Uh -huh. When we began, yes. it was yellow and the sugar side. Yeah. But now it's getting better it's to cream. It's getting white creamer. It's definitely becoming creamier. Yeah. Yes. Can you have it, right? Let me try. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah. So, do you do this for a certain number of minutes, or do you just uh, keep observing for the color change? Um, an advice: oh. you can try for the first 15 minutes. 15 minutes. But you must observe the color change. The color change is, is uh, the major thing. Huh? Yes, it's very important. And what power? We're using number number one. Yes, we're using the low power. The low power. But as we progress on, we can add I the can power. Add, okay, so I can add a little. To two. Okay, yes. there we go. Okay. Now, the cupcakes that we are making, how many are they going to be? Because based on the measurements, I'm sure that there's a certain number of cupcakes you're hoping to get out of this. Yes. How many? So, basically for this recipe, uh -huh. uh, you can get like around... Um, 14 to 18 cupcakes. 14 to 18, depending on how much you, you how cool the, the cupcake is, right? Yes, and uh -huh. depending on how much you whisk. Oh, the more you also? Yes, the more you whisk, uh -huh. the more your cupcakes will be, or the bigger your cake will be. Oh, really? So if we just leave it at this point, uh -huh. the cupcakes will be maybe 10. Oh. But if we continue till the color changes completely, they become more. Yes, around 14 to 18. I guess we end up introducing more air or something. Yeah, it's all about the air. It's all right. about the air because <laughs> I'm like, how has the 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 matter the matter has not increased? The only thing we're adding is air. Yeah, and ah. this one becomes more liquid. It becomes more liquid. Yeah. Ah. Wow. So you see, the color is the color changing. is changing. Yeah. And Let's show our viewers. It's becoming whiter. And know? a lot. And it's becoming more. Ah, I didn't know such. Oh, yeah. touch it, you know. All right, you can go ahead. Okay. Uh -huh. So you don't, you don't, uh, you don't skimp on this process. It's very important to go the law the entire fifteen minutes. You have, to. you have to. Actually, the word is have. To. Yeah. But it's not like exactly fifteen minutes because it also matters with the speed. The speed, yeah. The speed, huh? Yeah, the speed. Ah, if it's very high speed. Take a short, it will take a short oh, time. Yeah, and if it's very low, but it's good to go low, yeah. that way you'll be more accurate. Okay. okay. It's actually interesting that the color actually changes. You know? Yeah, and it's now all compacted together. Yeah. So what happens if you have somebody who doesn't take... Um, no, but here they... Margarine. Do you have an alternative? Butter. 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 Okay. Just those are the only two... Options. Yeah, but it actually all depends on the recipe. Yeah. As you know, baking is an art. Baking is an art. Okay. 
So you'll see I'm using this recipe. Someone else will use this other recipe. And it will come off to okay. good cake. Both will be good cake. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Actually, it's quite white. And it's more, mm -hmm. more liquid. Yes. And it's actually increased. The, now it's the, the tin is full up. Yeah. And then I realized when you use margarine, mm -hmm. uh, instead of uh, butter, yeah, the cake becomes thick, becomes thicker. If you use margarine? Yes. Because I was actually going to ask you whether there's any difference in the, how the cake tastes when you use butter and when you use margarine. Margarine and So to you, cake. margarine To me, yeah. I use blue bun. Mm -hmm. I used to use blue bun. And then uh, I had uh, an event to go to, uh -huh. Cake Cut Up Fair last year, April. Okay. And the ingredients they provided us with was margarine. Uh -huh. So the minute I used margarine and uh, I begged for my clients, yes. some were saying there is some sweetness. I really don't understand. It's but noticeable. It's, yes. So the, really the comparison is between blue and margarine. Yeah, on my case. Okay, okay so yes. Yeah. I also hear some people saying that butter actually tends to make it very moist and so I don't know if you know, viewers can get a depends. chance to try. It all depends on the baker. Exactly. So baking is an art, eh? Yeah, it is. So you're an artist. Thank you. So, yeah. Yes, I am. Sorry, look at the color of your hair. I think that <laughs> it's going to be cold. It is. Actually, it's become quite a lot. Eh? And whiter. This tends to be the longest part. Actually, this is the most tiresome part and the longest part. Okay. So, the rest parts are like two minutes, five minutes. Okay. This is actually this is the longest part. Yes. Uh, by the way, we're also on YouTube, so you can go to our YouTube channel and you'll be able to watch this later or send, it, send the link to your friends or your mom. By the way, you said that today's your mom's birthday. Yes, it is. Wish her happy birthday. I will. No, on <laughs> Oh, sorry. So happy birthday, mom. So these cakes are a dedication to her and GBS TV oh, okay. for allowing me to be on this platform. Uh -huh. So I'll not say the ears. I'm sure she wants don't. to be young. Not expose that part. <laughs> so you see the yellow parts that were around the side? Yeah, they have they are now going, mixed they are, up. They are going to mix up and they're no longer there. Yes. So it's nice and white and it's actually Killing quite a large portion of the bowl. Remember when it when we started, it, it was just one big lump at the but center. It's really spread at the center, yeah. So that aside looks from nice. this, mm -hmm. now we are going to add the eggs. The eggs, yes. This is why you told me that the eggs. Are you going to put the vanilla first? Yes. Okay. Okay. So you I'll go ahead. Put the vanilla essence in the mm -hmm. eggs. Had you told us how much vanilla this was? This was one drop. No, one bottle top. One bottle, you use the bottle top to measure. Because yes. it comes in a little container and yes. then, okay, okay, okay. One bottle top. Ah. So. Let's get it all out. Or rather, you can measure with the measuring spoons. Mm -hmm. Just one teaspoon is one enough. One teaspoon, okay, cool. So, the, the reason for us putting the vanilla essence, some people don't like the smell of uh, eggs, the yes, taste. Yes, yes. Actually, I'm so. one of them. And you know what? <laughs> Sometimes that taste is not there in organic eggs, the Kenya ones, eh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. One, uh -huh. as you whisk. Ah. So you'll assist me to put one, exactly one. Ex ex okay, I'm, I need to be very precise. So this helps with the the, the, the smell. Yes. Getting and rid of the it. Taste. And the taste. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. No, no, <laughs> really. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing one at a time? This to make my uh, my cake to to be can I say not to be like you know ugali is like not uh, for it to be more airy and more yes. bouncy. Yes. Uh, if I not like clumpy, and if I put all it will be all clumpy like yeah, ugali. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's more liquid, yeah. Mm. yeah. So now uh -huh. after this. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So it's more liquid and compact. Yeah, yeah, it's quite compact. So All now right. we can add mm -hmm. the, the flour. flour. So you can just put whatever amount. Oh, you don't, there's no, we can no. put all, as much as possible. All I need it to do is sieve. Is sieve, okay. This one, there's no formula mm. of uh, one egg yolk at a time. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, cool. But so, then mm -hmm. with this, mm. it's not 
only about the air. Yes. But sometimes ah, the particles are not fine. That's true. Uh, it's looking very fine. Yes. And if there are any clumps, they actually break. Yeah. When you sieve it. Yes. The consistency is the same. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Okay. Cool. So All this, right. I'll mix it up together. Yes. But then, as you can see, I'm using my spoon. Yes, you are. I'll not whisk it with it. Oh, for the flour? Yes. Okay. Is that another tip? Because one of the things is that when you whisk, it flies everywhere. <laughs> and into your hair, into your nose, and, and you start sneezing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So this is what you should do. You should just, uh, like, uh, is there a, fold it in. Yes, yes, you have to fold in because uh -huh. if you mix it again, it will become just a lump of ugali. It won't be a cake. Oh! And then I see my cake is just so tiny. It doesn't look like a one kg cake. Uh. 2015. Yeah, you're day. so young. Yeah. And you already have a business. <laughs> After high school, yeah. when I joined campus, I finished my first year. Yes. Then when I finished my first year, mm -hmm. I had a long holiday from May mm -hmm. to around... Uh, the long holidays, almost September. a year. Wow. Four months. Okay. It, clearly, you like being busy. This is vanilla. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do, yes. we'll just take a tin. Uh -huh. I'll advise you can take the one with the flour. Okay. Because it will not affect. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. So we'll just put some in the other tin. Okay. Like a... Uh, uh -huh. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a bit. Just a... Uh, so now we add the cocoa mm -hmm. to this other one. So we'll just add the cocoa, mm -hmm. the whole of it. Yeah, it doesn't. It. There, there is no process mm. of adding it. Okay. Then we'll now. This doesn't matter if you fall in or whatever you do, uh -huh. as long as it's all mixed up. Yeah. Okay. You see, it's becoming dark. Yes, it's becoming dark. The color is changing. Now this is where you get your chocolate cupcakes. Mm, this is where it comes from, eh? Yeah. Okay. The cocoa. The cocoa, actually, yeah. Mm. Mm. So. We'll use this. Uh -huh. These are like cupcake papers. Those are cupcake papers. Yes. And I like them because that means you don't have to put margarine. You know the way you, the thing of um, making the, the baking tin moist or some, using, like, is it lining it? What's the term? Um, it's greasing. Greasing it, greasing the tin. That's so the term, when you're yeah. baking like a one kg cake, you mm -hmm. have to grease your tin. You've got to grease it, yeah. If you don't, it will get it stuck. Will get, yes, exactly. Okay. And you'll just have to eat it from the tin. Okay, okay. So we'll just put them uh, in the cupcake holder mm -hmm. here. This is the cupcake tin. So nice. this comes in different, different designs. Yes. You just pick, you pick the one you feel best. Where do you buy your supplies like that? Where do you buy purchase from? Supermarket or? No, uh. I buy from a cake shop, Top Serve. Oh, there's a cake shop? Yes. For supplies? Yes. There's so many actually. Yeah, you would know because <laughs> that's what your field is. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So you put them there? Mm -hmm. so we need I to make sure that we, uh, we, pop, we pop, okay. So How many are these? Uh, four times three. These so are twelve. Okay. So you don't have to push them in. No, just lay it on top. No, you can just lay it on top. Okay. Of which, a spoon, please. A spoon. Okay. There you go. So I'll just. Ah, to be able to pour it in. Yes. Okay. You don't have to like push it in because you see as you're putting it mm. it's getting, it's getting in because of the weight yes and you just put a little like that no you don't fill it to the top eh? no you see <laughs> when for the bigger cupcakes <laughs> no <laughs> when there's heat it will expand and plus there's baking powder yes so it uh, rise to, yes okay so we'll just put and for you you're amount. also experienced because you it's like you as much as you you it's sort of more or less equal you know yes I but then you've had a lot of mm -hmm. We can put this to be vanilla. Uh huh. Then we can decide mm -hmm. to add the rest. Yes. So, so it's about uh, you sort of fill half the. Yes. The cup. If you want it to be bigger, fill cake. half. Yeah. Then now, the rest. Mm -hmm. We can mix, right? Or yes, what is your plan? We can. My plan is mm -hmm. I add it all in here. Ah, okay. And then after I'll add the cocoa. Okay, okay. The cocoa or the this one, the chocolate. The one with the cocoa, mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. It's okay, no problem. Oh, mm. Let me turn that. Please. 
Okay. So you can see baking is very messy. That's why I have an apron. Yes, I don't have you an apron, but at least you're the one doing most of it, so it's okay. You can yeah, it's good to have an apron. Yeah. And it's not too messy actually. I'm not feeling like it's too messy. It depends if <laughs> you are clumsy. You know why you know why it becomes messy? Uh -huh. Because a lot of times people whisk the flour. And then it goes everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Even when you're baking, you don't whisk the flour. I've never. You fold whisked. it in. Yes. Honestly, that's a tip. That's anyway, I don't know whether it's me, whether it's a tip for my viewers or it's a tip for me only, but it's okay. It's okay. We are here to learn, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you see, like, all of it is almost over. Yes. I had a friend who came to the show and she was telling me she has to work with a spatula because a spatula is what gets every bit of this yummy goodness I, out. I think you know? I saw that show. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I actually got that tip from her, uh, so yeah. I'm going to work You're on getting get spatula yes. to get all the goodness I out. I have right? to. Because this, this, this is half a cupcake, right? This is not yet half a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the way you say that, uh, what you leave on the spoon is half but a cupcake. But it's true. But yeah, you want it all out. And especially when you're doing it for... Uh, you know, for business, because you're telling us that you, 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 are, you during the four-month holiday, which to you was too long, I see that you are a very uh, ambitious uh, girl. So what, you decided to do something with the holiday. Yes, yeah, so what happened, mm -hmm. uh, my mom couldn't allow me to just stay at home. To just, oh, it was your mom, not you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wanted to stay at home. You were happy to have a holiday. Very happy. But mom said, no, girl. No, you can't mm -mm -mm. be idle. And I don't mind, anyway. So I, I looked for there. all courses. Mm -hmm. I tried Chinese. Yeah. I had already done driving computer. So mm -hmm. my only result was uh, was just... Was baking. Yes. Did you think about it just by yourself or maybe you have a friend who told you about it? No, actually I have a cousin mm -hmm. who is now my partner. Oh, in the business? Yes. Wow. We bake together. Mm -hmm. She's also in school. Yes. So a, uh, at KU as well? No, she's in JQuad. Okay. Oh, she's in, down the road. Yes, she's okay. in second year. Wow, it's so amazing. You're already in, you've already started uh, being entrepreneurs in, at, at such a young age. It's a passion. Yes. <laughs> it so, became a passion anyway. So yeah, she told you about baking. She told me about baking mm -hmm. and uh, she told me where to go and check. Yeah. So around Valentine's School of Cakes. She had already done the course herself? She did it after high school. After high school? Yes. Okay. But she finished like a year after me. I so when I was doing oh, my she's first behind. year, okay, okay, I get it. this okay. is when she was doing the Hard. baking. So you're the yeah. one who did it first? She's the one who did it first. Okay, okay. Yeah. So after that, so we can put this in the oven. Yes. We have uh, vanilla on this side. This is also chocolate. Yes. So here we can call this marble. Marble. Ah. This, is how, this is where the name comes from. Yes, it's a mixture. I've seen it. Marble, yes. Yes. But now we have some remaining bit of this. Mm -hmm. For the rest, these are 12. Yeah, don't worry. We for shall know what to do with them. For the rest, now it will just be plain Plain chocolate, chocolate yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So we can put this in the oven. Do you have to have already preheated the oven or no? Yes. We need to? We need to. Okay. So we'll just preheat. Mm -hmm. For how many minutes do you preheat? Uh, depends with the temperature. Okay. So as we are figuring out that, mm -hmm. we can just place in the cupcakes. Yeah. And put at 220. 220, okay. And then remember to time as well, huh? Yes. Okay. So here I'm timing mm -hmm. for around uh, 20. Yes. 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. At two, you can either put 220 to 200 degrees Celsius. 200 for 20 two, minutes. Yes. So you keep adding little I by little. Add. It doesn't matter if it's on the side or anything. Ah. Okay. And you see, this is the message, the convenience of the customer and your time. Yes. So you can decide either they come or you go, depending with how convenient it is. For both of you. Yeah. And you say that when you advertise, you got 30 clients within, is it, did you say a month? Yes. In a month, 30, those are so many. I know. Even you were surprised. Yes. But it was a good surprise. It was a better surprise, that's yeah, why I'm here. that's why you're here. Mm -hmm. So how old is your business? Um, uh, around one year and a half. Wow. Since 2017. Congratulations. Thank you. It's cream white. You can yes. see it's a little bit white, but yes. below down there it's, it's cream. cream. Mm. So that's the color that we wanted. So that's okay. enough. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then what next? So we can use this spoon yes. to mix it in. Yes. Then we'll add some uh, yes. okay. 
So we'll just use this and put in here. Yeah, okay. All right. So with this, you see, this is disposable. Ah, okay. It's just a paper. Yes, it's but paper, but it has something, a funnel there. Oh, you put this yourself? No, I put this myself. Ah, it just okay. comes as a plain paper. Ah, okay. So, so I put this a nozzle, mm -hmm. this a coupler. Yes. I fix it all in together. Uh -huh. Then we can add the... You put this in there? Yes. Okay. Let me hold for you because I know you, you're very, you, you, you're skilled at putting, getting <laughs> it all in at the right place. You have to hold it this way. You have way. to hold it, you see. I knew. But you knew. Okay. So you can there hold it go. here. So do you have a social life? I mean, if you're baking and you're in school and then you have to also be at home, I mean, don't your friends complain that they miss you so much? Uh, some do. <laughs> <laughs> My best friend does. I know. Yes. Shout out to her. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you so much because she actually brought you to studio today. Yes. I had to call her and tell her to bring me she here. She is so sweet, right? Yeah. You've been best friends for how long? Eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Wow. Be a, the real BFF, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you meet? High school for one. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So we can use okay. that. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to force it in as such. Just place it. Eh? So the mm -hmm. minute you place it, you'll yeah. force it in later. Now later with your yes, hands. Yes, eh? you can force it in later ah, with your hands. Okay. That way. Uh huh. And you also have to test if it's coming if it's out. It's actually coming. Oh, there it is! Wow, excellent. Because. Um, you might bake a cupcake, mm -hmm. and if the presentation is not good, mm -hmm. someone will not even be enticed to eat. Yes, I have yeah. a friend who says you first eat with your eyes yes, before you, you eat with your to. mouth. Yeah, so you've got to be the creative aspect is now the decoration, yes. the the whether now look at like this vermicelli the colors. They're very nice and attractive. And this know? actually, when you put it on top here, you see this is white. It's white only. The yeah. minute you put it on top here, it looks so good. Yeah. You just want to taste you just want the to cake. Eat it. Yes. Yeah. That feeling of wanting to eat it is already coming in my head. <laughs> you know. But actually, <laughs> once you see the cupcake and you just want to taste it. Already that's a huge plus. Yes. Yeah. But if you see it plain, you'll just think of it, maybe it's just like bread. I know. Like, just who like wants to eat a plain cupcake? No, 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 no. You so want to eat a cupcake this will entice full of flavor, customers. full of beauty. Yes, it will. Yeah. Mm. So how do you, so have you, do you advertise? Yeah, I do in social media. Mm -hmm. I have a page on Instagram. Ah, okay. I'm going to, what, what is your, the name of your page? Tamara's Cakes. Tamara's Cakes. Yes. Okay, okay, cool. We're going to go there for sure. And, yeah, uh, so I post all my photos, photos there. there. Yeah, okay, cool. and everything. Excellent. So that's where actually some of my customers, they take my number. So social media marketing actually works, eh? It works. Plus, it works. word of mouth is the best way of it's advertising. It's the best, yeah. Because somebody who has eaten your cake knows how yummy it is. Yes. And then you find yourself getting repeat clients. Yes. Do you find that happening? Yeah. Uh -huh. Actually, there, I have some clients who I know they are my clients. Yes. Like if they want a cake, if they post of this ceremony, I just know they'll order a cake. They'll call you. Then they refer oh. some, refer mm -hmm. some. So you see the clientele gets so big. Yeah. Yeah. So did you, you you've been in business for now for one and a half years. Yeah. Has your, your, have your orders grown? They have. Uh -huh. I actually monitored uh -huh. in a, a month, I can get eight to ten cakes wow. every month, at uh -huh. least eight to Minimum. ten. Minimum? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Every month. Yes. Some months I can do 15. Uh -huh. uh, like Those are many? Yeah. Wow, every two days? Because no, a month has actually, got 30 days. Or, or they tend to just, you know the way, they tend to just all happen to congregate around actually, that's a certain what week do. and then you super stressed. Yes. And then it's quiet. Or a certain weekend. <laughs> This is a weekend yes. I had like five cakes to do. You oh. see, it's a little bit hectic. Yeah, but it's close to each other still. Yeah, so at least it's all on thicker road. Yes, yes. all on thicker okay. road. So I just, I plan myself. Mm -hmm. I can go home on Saturday. Yeah. And I can decide to do all the cakes within that whole Saturday. So do you have a big oven? No, that actually. can cook many cakes at once? No. Uh -huh. Since I'm starting my business right now, yeah. I have... Uh, You're managing your, your costs. Yes. So that you can be able to save and get more capital. Yes. Mm -hmm. The more capital I get, the bigger oven I get. Yeah. And the, just even the premise. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that's all about it. And do you have a mentor, somebody you admire in this industry? Or are you sort of more or less just... On your own testing the waters and moving sometimes forward sometimes i just test the waters. i think so because you see you are also uh you are also a student so and you've yeah. got to give a priority also because yeah. i'm sure your mom is on your case like girl your grades need, need to be up and the, even you yourself yeah 
So I have to know when to yeah. do the baking and when to study. Yeah, that's true. But I have some mentors. I can some there is a company e bakers. Mm -hmm. I'm in a certain group where they post their photos where yeah. they do these. Uh -huh. So I just follow up on them. Okay. I check on Google, I check on YouTube. Mm -hmm. There's some things I wasn't taught. Yeah. Like maybe decorating with the Oreo, decorating with these. Yeah. So I just check on YouTube and just try. When yeah. we are baking at home, I just try. You just keep trying. Yeah. yeah. Wow, this is such a lovely surprise. Yeah. yeah, so how is our cake doing? Are we ready to remove it now? Has it risen? It's almost. It's all. It's all up. It's all up. Yes. I want to take a peek. Cause take a peek. Yeah, I need to just pick it. It's ah, all up. It's all up. Yeah, it's actually all up. Uh-huh. But now it needs to brown, right? Yes. Yeah, it needs to brown. So, it's so we can time. add a little bit time, a little bit temperature. Mm-hmm. That is okay. It's something you can do, right? Yeah. Okay. As long as it's between 200 and 220. Yeah, don't exceed so because it will burn or get brown or and not ready inside. Yeah, or sometimes it can burn on top. Yes. And then inside it's like squash. I know. It's not yet ready. Yeah. Yeah. And you know and you that's can't the worst thing. that. You can't. You've got to repeat it. Yes. And sometimes you don't have the time. And, and also, it's an it's uh, it's not efficient for you in your yeah, business. Yeah, and maybe the customer yeah. wanted this exact time. Yeah. So you have to be sure about mm, it. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So this we'll put on later on. Yeah. What was this for? It's for laying them, so that we can be able to take. This mm -hmm. will help in decorating. Right. Oh, okay. So this is where we'll place our cupcakes. Ah, okay. And then we decorate on on top. On yeah? top. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So this will help a lot because you see the cupcakes are actually hot. Do you by the way do you decorate when it's hot or do you wait for them to cool? They'll cool for just their cupcakes. Yeah, so they cook. They cool faster. Yes, and like a one kg, two kg. A one kg. kg, it has to cool inside. Exactly. So it takes a longer time. Maybe sometimes overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I have to bake like at night. Yeah. Then decorate in the in morning. In the morning, that's true. Because once you take a cake that is hot, it it can cause you some tummy issues. Oh, you're okay. not supposed to take a hot cake. Yeah, it needs to be cool. Yeah. Okay. And then, what is the big, largest cake that you can make? Uh, so far, I'm doing till two kgs. Okay. Yeah. And those are actually usually more than enough for a function, because you know you just can't yeah. Or well, sometimes you can do the staircase. Oh, two, you can do many. Oh, you can do two kgs and then you one get kg. many on top. One kg on top. Yes. Ah, yeah. To or get three. two and two. Yeah. Then if you have your four. Yes. Ah, exactly. Okay, so okay. it's just all about creativity. Yeah, it's all about creativity. So you sure. can just do as much as you want. Yeah. So what do you aspire to do? What is, where do you see yourself? Are you, go, are you going to practice real estate? Yes, that's <laughs> I'm studying it. And you're almost done in your third year? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm actually clocking to fourth year in September. Yeah, so you're, if you, that means you graduate this year? Next year. Next year, next yes. year by December. You're, you're so done. aside from that, I have to have a company yeah, with baking. That's true. That's, that's exactly what I want. You're such an uh, inspiration to Kenyan youth, you know? Thank a you. lot of times people want to go to school and finish and look for a job, but look, here you are. By the time yeah. you're finishing, you're probably going to be needing to employ yeah. people to help you. And already, uh, like when you do deliveries, there are people probably who you used to out, you outsource that service from. So maybe like you have a rider or you that you use or something. Yes. You know? So I hope that you know that that is something that is very big. That's actually what I thought of yeah. when I started because mm -hmm. I looked at it. I can't just wait to finish school yeah. and start earning. Mm -hmm. I have to earn while in school at yeah. the same time. So who pays your fees? My mom. Ah, she's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> She's she does everything. <laughs> she Maybe pays she my fees. Maybe she have been that kind of mom who's like, girl, you have money. Yeah, you pay your fees. No, <laughs> she pays my fees. She That's supports nice. me a lot. She's very supportive. First of all, with Is the baking. Is she a business person or she's an em employed somewhere? She's employed but still a business person. She has a side hustle. That's where I got my hustle. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, cool. So she supported me so much. Yeah. Taking your me to yes, school. Take, yeah, mm -hmm, paying for your course. Paying for Was it expensive? Very expensive. Oh. Um, well, it was in the sense that if she hadn't done it, you wouldn't have been able to do it yeah. by yourself. But it wasn't so expensive. Mm -hmm. And plus, everything was practical. Okay. So I really learned a lot. Mm -hmm. so it was not just theoretical. Actually, there was only one theory class. Only one? In the 30 days. Wow, that's a good school. Yeah. Because it actually gives you the hands-on experience, which is what you need. So that when you leave the school, you're ready to hit the road running, start cooking immediately, yes. start baking. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you just have to do everything by yourself. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Totally everything. By so we can check our cupcakes. Let's check on them. 
they are brown any oh, a are little they? bit. Wow. Even the 20 minutes is almost up. Oh, okay. They're browning. Let's just give them time. Yeah. Just a little bit more time. Okay. So with this icing, by the way, I forgot mm -hmm. to add. Yeah. You just can't, it's not a must for you to do it when it's only white. Uh-huh. You can add You can add colour. Yes. Yeah, that's You can add food colour. You mm -hmm. can add any colour. You can even add uh, turmeric for that colour. Or oh, it's got to be... But that, yes, it has you a can, taste, though. but it has, it has a, a taste. taste. Yeah. Food colour does not have a taste. It's sort of tasteless. Yes, actually it's tasteless. And it's usually powder form. Yes. Ah, it's yeah. completely tasteless. Okay, that's good. So if you yeah. just do, you can do any colour blue, yeah, pink. You actually, yeah. So you have to... Eat your eyes like you have exactly. to see and this is where your art comes in yeah yeah okay. so the more creative you are mm -hmm. the more you sell i can't wait to go to your instagram page and <laughs> just look at all the cakes that you've done you know i'm really looking forward you just try you just see maybe this decoration and just do it yeah you see this other one and just try it even if it will not work out then yes more yeah uh, the icing is all about practice okay you just the more you practice, the, the better, better you become. Yes. And and the, you know nowadays the the cake the cake industry has really developed. You can find a photo of somebody. You can find the shape of. Yeah, the photo you know, is very common now. I know the photo is very common. It's even outdated now. You can even bake a cake that is the shape of a handbag. Yes. You know, I a mean, ball, a ball, a, a, a baby golf course, for yeah, baby a showers, baby, yeah. for bridal showers, the bride. How does that happen? Is it this? The, the baking tin or is it just you cutting up the cake? It is you cutting up. Uh, it's called fondant. Oh, it's a fondant. Yes. Yeah, they had very hard yes. icing. Yes. So you model do you it do, into do you do that, that as well? My partner does it. Ah. I mostly do the buttercream. Buttercream. But ah. my partner does that. And that's good because you've got both clients yes. and you can satisfy both. So you can do for maybe bridal showers. Mm. Anyone who wants the fondant, yeah. it can still be done. So that one is all about you modeling it. It's just modeling. It's actually modeling. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So with the Oreo, you can decide. Mm -hmm. You can cut into bits mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. You can just put like this, yeah. or you just put it as a whole. As a whole. Yeah. Either way. Either way, you can get creative with this, right? Yeah. Okay. Totally. Excellent. So aside from all this. Mm -hmm. Cupcakes has um, uh, various designs. Uh huh. Uh, it really? All, yes. I thought they're all the same. No. Okay. There's, you see, this is a nozzle. Yes. So with this nozzle, it comes with different tips. Ah, yeah, okay. So this tip mm -hmm. is a rosette. Ah. It is called a rosette. Looks like a rose sort of ish. Yes, uh -huh. it's, it makes a flower. Mm -hmm. So this is a rosette. Yeah. So there are others which are serrated and everything, mm -hmm. the type of nozzle that you use. Yes. Will, is going to have a different yes. result. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so you can also get creative with that. Yeah, and there's so many. Okay, okay. There, okay. there is a big rosette, a small one. There yeah. are different types of shapes. There is one that is just a tip. Yeah. A bigger circle. If you want a line or yes. something. Yes. Yeah. Or if you want to write a name on oh, the Oh, yes. Key. If you want to, to write, yes, yes, yes. And so just you use, like, just, then you just flow with it, yeah? Okay. And you see, it has to be perfect. I know, it does. You so. Know, and that perfection is, I'm sure, do you have, there, there are clients who are very, like, they are perfectionists. So, like, the name has to be yes. perfect, yeah. And if it doesn't come out that way, you see? They're disappointed. So yeah. you really have to be, uh, to make sure that you give your clients exactly what they want, yeah. the best. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think we can check on the cakes now. Yeah. What do you think? Can. Yeah, we have a knife. Yeah. So we'll check with this one. Mm -hmm. You have to like insert a little bit. Yes. And when you see it's all clear, mm -hmm. then the cake is ready. Okay. But if you see some parts are still sticking, sticky, mm -hmm. yeah, you'll know the cake is not ready. Okay, cool. So is that the only way to check? If the cake is ready, because I've never heard of another way. That is the only best way. <laughs> I'll okay. say. And that's the only way everyone knows and we've been taught. And you can use yeah. a toothpick as well. You can use a toothpick or mm -hmm. a bread knife. A bread knife. Just yeah. something small. Yes. To yeah. just check. All right. Okay, yeah. cool. So, so you also have to be careful. And anyway, the good thing is at least the, the timer went off. So at least we have a feeling that it's more or less yes. ready. So you actually check after. The after timer. the timer goes yes. off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. So... Can open the mic, the oven. So we can just check from inside. Uh -huh. You don't have to pull it out. That's okay. You can check such that in case it's not ready, you, you can just, just close. close and continue exactly. Yes. Okay. So we'll check this one. Uh -huh. 
You see here, it's not sticking. It's not sticking. It's actually clean. Very clean. Yeah. So now you're ready to remove the cupcake. All right, cool. Yippee. Of course, it would be good if we had some muffins. You need to take care because an oven gets quite hot. Yeah, it's really hot. Yeah. Ah, it looks nice. So you see, some are brown. Some are brown. Some are the, 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 the chocolate parts are darker because of the, the chocolate color. Yes. Mm -hmm. And some are a little bit uh, lighter. Lighter. No, yes. this is what you call vanilla. Ah, okay. Yes. Mm. This one's over here. Yes. This is vanilla. This is vanilla. Mm -hmm. This is vanilla. And you can this actually see they're brown. Yes, they're brown. This is another way you'll get to know they're ready. Yes, just the color yes. tells you. The color okay. tells you. Yeah. So. Uh, you can let them just cool, cool for a few minutes. For a few minutes. Okay. Because yeah, I remember you saying that you don't eat hot cakes. They need to cool. Yes. Right? But so then mm -hmm. cupcakes cool pretty quickly. They do. Yeah. And we can place them. They are not so hot. Yeah. So you can manage. And to it's so easy to remove. Is it possible to bake cake. cakes using pa this paper? Yeah, there is a there is a grease paper. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like brown in color. Yeah. You place it just. Uh, below on you on your tin. Yeah, so I like that because sometimes when you grease, the cake still kind of gets stuck. Yeah, and you just have. Is like there a tip or a trick that you use to prevent that? You put more margarine. More margarine. More, more margarine. You more. have to grease your tin like completely. Everywhere, because any hard part is where it's gonna get stuck. It actually. better looks smudged, mm -hmm. but then it's, it's gonna way fall better. Off. Yeah. yeah, it's better. Okay. The more the more it's in the oven, the more it melts. Yeah, so. that's true. In a way, it will all melt, so you don't and get into the, the cake, yeah. so it's okay. Nice. So there are our cupcakes. So that way you can let them cool, because yes. this is hot. If yeah, you leave, leave, yeah. Oh, they'll just stay they cool hot. Better. They cool better on this, yeah. uh, this kind of a tree. Mm, there you go. And they're smelling so nice. Ah, that's the beauty of baking. Your whole house just smells lovely. Yeah, and your neighbors will complain. And Actually, be they won't wondering. complain. They're going to come visit. They'll be asking. Uh, especially, like, you know, <laughs> when they just sort of time 20, 20 yeah. or when they hear the, the timer, tingling, <laughs> then you just hear. Especially with their children. Um, Mama so and so, Nani Yuko. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my neighbors, the kids, yeah. they'll just come check, but my sister will just go and tell them we're baking. My big sister is baking. Come oh, and because see. you have a sister? You have a brother, I have is a, a brother or no, sister? No, I have a small sister. Oh, a sister, yes, she's six. six. I'm sure she goes and calls her friends now. Totally. I know. She and you have to, to like, shoot their work because yes. it's more clients. But the better, the more yeah. customers I get. Exactly, the more yeah. customers you get. Cool. So you, you see with this? They're ready, yes, they're ready. And they are cooled. So, so we can, we can decorate. Mm -hmm. And decorating doesn't take a lot of no, time. No, it doesn't take a lot of time. So and it's worth it. It's better to do it because it adds. The beauty, you know, comes out really well. Yeah, you'll see the difference between this and a cake that's just plain. Exactly. And who wants plain cakes? Nobody. Uh, after Nobody. After all. Mm -hmm. So uh, before you even begin, mm -hmm. you can just try to and sure. see the shape ah, that will come off from it this. There is. That way you can make sure mm -hmm. your nozzle is working. Yes, okay, there we go. That's yes. the kind of thing we're expecting. Yes. Look, you call this a rosé, a rose? Rosette. Rosette, rosette, yes. yeah, okay. So with this we can begin here. Mm -hmm. The center, and then you go round. Ah, ah, See, that's a rose. A flower, yeah. This other one, you can try another shape. Oh, wow. Ah, what do you call that one? This is just creativity, I yeah, would say. Yeah, just whatever. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So this other one, you can try a star. In the middle. Mm. Ah. Actually, the nozzle will give you very many shapes. Yes. You can just do anything, anything with the you nozzle. Want. I mean, there are no restrictions. No restrictions. Yeah, okay. So with this other one, you can just repeat. Mm -hmm. It's the same exact. Yeah. Wow, look at you that. You can have a try. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let me try. I'm going to try the stars. The ones. No, this is actually not a star. It's the, the other flower that you did on the side. 
you're trying actually. I really, I'm feeling <laughs> quite, you know, this is like the first time I've done this. It is. Ah. You're trying. <laughs> it's not so bad. My hand is even trembling like, oh my God, oh my God. My first time it was so hard. It was. I had to repeat I the should class. Try this. Just try. Let me try. How are you doing it? You're sort of like uh, you start starting at the center, as a center. Then you go round. You go round, 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 and then you stop it like that. Yes. Nice, interesting. Oh my God, this is my <laughs> first time to do this. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I'm feeling like ah, a lot of pressure, okay? So you can do it another one. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's no limit here. You can, it's no. entirely up to you. You can have different colors. You say different nozzles. Yes, mm -hmm. so different shapes. Yeah, wow. Try do this again. I see it. Then I try, I try it. it. Yes. Okay. So this is star. Uh huh. Just be okay to press it all out. Yeah, and actually, this is fun. it's so hard to press. So you have like to push. To put. Actually, you, you put pressure. Yeah, that's why I'm holding it like this. Yes. So this will help me push. Ah. And you see, this one is here. Yes. So this will help push, and this helps come out. Oh, the the holding. Yes. Ah, yeah. Okay. So how you hold it is also very important. It's a yeah. technique, right? Okay, let's try. Mm. You see, you're trying. I am. But don't lay it so low. Okay. I'm learning. You're better than me the <laughs> first time. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the minute you put like... This is definitely a, um, a novice, but it's okay. <laughs> this is what I'm aiming for, but it's okay. We're You'll get, get there. there. Yes. <laughs> Practice. Yes. So oh, we can wow. do it this again. Mm -hmm. The round one. Nice. There we go. Or rather, this we can also add some down here. On the side. Yeah, yes. it's just all the about stars. your creativity yeah, and everything. True. Again. Mm -hmm. Nice. So do you do cupcakes also, like for clients, if they want to? Order? Yeah, I had just started. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I had, I just thought, mm -hmm. maybe I just try cupcakes. Since I'm in university, yeah. I try supply to exactly. university. Oh, yeah. Then they can so, through friends. Mm -hmm. So, I started. Good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I just told my friends, one was in UN, uh -huh. the other one was in Strathmore. Yeah. I just told them, I'll bake cupcakes. Mm -hmm. And since you know how to market things, yeah. you can try sell off yeah. in your school. Mm -hmm. That way. I'll pay you, mm -hmm. and I'll get a profit. You see, you're yeah. growing. Hey, yeah. your mind. Eh? And <laughs> did you try? Yes, I did. And? Actually, every week, I'll just get a profit of around 2000 Wow. Yeah. Look at you. Well done, yeah. girl. So with this, you can try any other shape. Mm -hmm. You can try put the star on top. Let me put the star on top. Let me try. And on the side. <laughs> You're enjoying this. I, this is awesome. I'm telling you, you know, I have boys and I'm like, if I give them a chance to do this, hey, 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 they would love it. Oh, that one has come out really nice. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. that's the star. Yeah, that's what you're telling me. I'm putting it two down. Ah, there we go. I like, oh, nice, it's working. So you can Thank try you. with this. Uh-huh. So how do you, do you sprinkle those ones or? So this is just, you just oh, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. And the Oreo, we can put the Oreo here. Mm-hmm. Aha, uh -huh, in the center, right? Yes. Okay. We can put another one on this one. Mm-hmm. Nice. Then now we can just sprinkle the vermicelli anyhow. Because it will stick. It will basically stick. Oh, it looks really pretty. Yes, eh? It makes a difference. You can add you know. some. It makes quite a difference. Look at that. You can also try the strands. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, 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 the whole splash of color is so beautiful. Yeah. It's all about it's the presentation. So you know, some of these things look like you can't do them yourself, but when you actually start doing them, you realize that they're very simple and to do. Yeah, look exactly. So you'll Cute. see this and you think it's just like so complicated. I know. What have they done? <laughs> what are these trans? How did they stick them onto the... You but know, it's so simple. They're so simple. Yeah, yeah. you can add some here. Mm -hmm. Some more of the round ones. Let me put some of the round ones on this one. And the other one. Yeah. And this is just adds to the yumminess and the beauty because we say that when you're cooking, you first eat with your eyes. That you have before to. you actually and, and you know what? If you're successful with your eyes, chances are you're going to want to take that bite. 
But if you look at something and you're not happy with it, even if it tastes good, you 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 won't even try. You won't it. enjoy it. Yeah. Chances yeah. are, it's not going to make that move from the plate to your mouth. You know. Totally. Yeah. Beautiful. And look, it looks so different. So this is the presentation yeah, of the cake. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You know what? I wish our viewers could be here with us and today taste. because they're going to be <laughs> missing out on a lot of fun. This is the best part of cooking shows. Yes. After. You have to taste. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, nice. So you see, it looks really good when you just put ice yeah, in. Yeah, it looks really it good. Everything. It looks much better. Yes. You should definitely go that extra mile and decorate your cakes and decorate your cupcakes. Yeah. And honestly, it's so simple. Yeah, and learn how yeah. to do it in a better way. In a better way, yeah. in a creative way. Yes. Mm, yeah. All right, cool. There we go. So I'd like you to give a parting shot to the viewers. Okay. Yeah, you can. For you, you're gonna have to decide how to encourage them because you are a student, you're an entrepreneur, you're a baker, you know. So, just have a let. Just talk to the viewers and give them a party shot. Um. So to my viewers, mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for watching us, and um, I like to encourage you. Look for that passion that you love. You can always turn it into a business. Yes. It doesn't have to do with baking. Just any passion that you do. For me, mine is baking. So look for that passion that you do. I like to give up a, uh, to give a big up to my mom. It's her birthday today, so nice. happy birthday, mom! Yeah. I'll uh, put a cupcake aside for you, yes. definitely. She helped me a lot with studying and everything. And to my customers, my friends, all those who have supported me with this business, little by little since 2017. Mm. Thank you very much, and we are going to grow bigger and better. Excellent. To Stop. my viewers, you can uh, access me through Instagram. Tamara's Cakes. Uh, my number is laid down there or my email aidawamboy98 at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, viewers, thank you so much for joining us today. It has been a pleasure and uh, I hope that you're going to surprise yourself or your family or your friends by making some vanilla and chocolate cupcakes for them. Thank you and have a lovely day. Bye. <music>